Okay, if I've downloaded Satellite Direct, now we're gonna go through the installation process. Your file might have ended up anywhere in your computer, but mine is here on my desktop right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on the installation icon. And if you're running Windows 7 like I am, you're gonna get a bunch of these little security warnings. So all you need to do is just hit run, you'll be okay. Okay, so here's the welcome installation screen. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Accept the agreement. Click on next. You can read it if you like. Uh, I'm not going to, but uh, there it is. Here you do, so you can just click accept and hit next. <clears throat> you can select the uh, path of where you want to install a program on your computer. You can click on browse and select the appropriate folders. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to press continue. The default's fine for me. The default name for the folder, I'm going to leave it at satellite direct. You can click on next one more time. It, this is asking if you want to create a desktop icon or a quick launch icon. Uh, it's up to you. I'll leave it on, at the default. And yeah, I do want those on my desktop. And we'll click on next. This is just the confirmation of all the items that we've selected. Uh, everything's fine, so we'll just go ahead and click install. It's going to take a few moments. Okay. It seems like everything's installing just fine. So uh, we just hit finish. Make sure the uh, launch satellite direct checkbox is checked. Click finish. Okay guys, and now in this window we're going to have to enter the email that we use at the time of purchase. You guys might remember the confirmation page which was this one right here. The email address is here, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And registration code is this big long number here. Just copy it and paste it. That's a control C by the way, or a Apple C on the Mac. And here we go. We click on register. It's gonna take a few moments while it's contacting your database. It says thank you for your purchase. Our registration code has been accepted. And we press OK. It's just going to take a few moments. Okay, it's just letting us know that Satellite Direct has updated its channels. If you want the channels that are not on the list, then you can email them at their support email right over here for those channels. And please let them know the country of the channel you were requesting. I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. Also, they do have a live chat agent if you need help. So their technical team is always available. You can always email them if you like. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I just wanted you to see that. Okay, so here we are. We're ready to start navigating through Satellite Direct. And by the way, you can close this little ad if you like. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select a country so we can watch a channel. That's very easy. All you need to do is go on your left-hand side, select All Countries and pick one of the countries which channels you want to see. I'm a big soccer fan. I also happen to like Mexican soccer. So I know that about this time of day, uh, there are soccer games going on. So I can just click on Mexico. I already know which channels are showing some of the games that I like. So I could go into that particular channel and, and if the game is on, I'll be able to watch it. For example, Azteca TV is one of the channels that shows the games that I like. So we'll go ahead and double click on that. You kind of got to scroll down. Depending on your connection, this might load up a little bit faster. Sometimes you get ads, but you know, that's okay. They only last about 20 seconds. And considering that you're watching thousands of channels all over the world, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. So here we go. It's going to come up in just a second. Okay, and here we are. You can see we're watching Azteca TV from Mexico. Apparently there are about 4 million views on there right now. And uh, yeah, that's that's all you really need to do. There it is, our uh, quality's pretty good. You got your volume here. You got your uh, full screen mode here. So here we are in full screen mode. You can see the uh, game. I'm gonna get out of there just because my screen capture software is only capturing part of the game. Okay. And if you're done, you can always click on pause right up here. And it'll, it'll stop what you're playing. You can also switch to radio if you want. 
And we have to select the country. Uh, apparently there's something going on in Mexico when it comes to the radio. But we can just hit all countries and see what's going on. Okay. Here are some of the radio stations in the U.S. I'm just going to click one here. Let's see ABC News Radio. We can listen to the radio and see what's going on. But anyway, once you have a station selected, that could be TV as well. You can right-click on it, Add to Favorites, and that would immediately add the radio station that you selected to your favorites. You press OK, and you go on your favorites, and here it is, ABC News Radio. So it's that simple. You can just select all of the radio stations and TV stations from anywhere in the world, really, and add them to your favorites and watch them whenever you can. I'm going to go ahead and pause that right now. If you wanted to start watching TV again, you can just hit Switch TV. It will take you back to the stations. You can select the channel or radio station from a list here. There's also an update section where you can just uh, hit the update button. It's going to search for updates. If there's an update out there, it will uh, download and install it for you immediately. So you always have the most updated version. At this moment, my particular version is already up to date. So there's no need to download anything. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK to close that window. Okay. Other features of the software is there's a chat live, there's a contact support, and there's a help menu here that is pretty uh, handy if you have any technical questions before you contact these guys. Some questions you might be able to answer yourselves. So if you click on how do I, your web browser should come up. What you'll see here is basically installation guides. They have pictures. Um, it's basically what you and I went through in the beginning. I would say about 80% of the things, you've already seen it on the video. But in case you have any other questions or more specifics on how the program works, you can come here and read these things and maybe help you answer some questions that I haven't gone over. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you very much. And if you would like to get this program, you can always click on the link below. It's uh, right down here. So just click on this and thank you.